Shalom and welcome to today's edition of Rabbi Ron in the House. Tomorrow night, Friday night at sunset, begins Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And I can remember growing up, and I still now remember reading that for non-Messianic Jews, if, if, if they understand this holiday, what the traditional non-Messianic Jewish rabbis teach about it, if they understand it and take it seriously, this can be a day uh, that brings a little bit of fear and concern within the hearts of non-Messianic Jews. I remember that from my childhood growing up, and I read about it still today in stories of non-Messianic Jews. They understand it because the non-Messianic Jewish rabbis teach that on Rosh Hashanah, God opens up the Book of Life. And then for these 10 days of awe, from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, the book stays open. And Jewish people should be spending time in doing good deeds and donating money, repenting, praying, and in, in hopes of convincing God to forgive them of their sins and to put their name in the book of life and grant them another 12 months to live. Well, if I be still believe that, that would be quite, quite scary and frightening at times. Uh, I'd have no assurance. There is none. And actually, there shouldn't be any. Because nowhere in the Bible, in the Torah, in the Tanakh, does it say that if you pray, repent, and do good deeds, God will forgive you of your sins. That's what rabbinic Judaism teaches this day. But that's not what the Bible teaches. People that are a child of God, that have been forgiven of sins, they need to be spending their days in prayer. We need to pray every day. We need to repent of our sins when God brings them to our attention. And we need to do good deeds, help other people. Those are the things that we do as a child of God. But those things never did, never will get us atonement, forgiveness, cleansing, pardon of our sins. Many, many years ago, I remember reading that the rabbis there, when they, uh, not the rabbis, the priests, the leaders in Judaism, they would go and offer the sacrifices in the temple. And then after that, when Yom Kippur ended, they'd throw a feast. They threw a feast because they said they knew that God had forgiven their sins, and therefore they could celebrate and rejoice because they had the assurance of forgiveness of sins. They had it back then. They don't have it now. They don't have it now because they're not doing what the Bible teaches. The priests back then knew they were doing what the Bible taught, and therefore God would forgive them. They had that assurance. Rabbis today do not have that assurance because they don't do what the Bible teaches. We, on the other hand, as Messianic Jews, we don't need to be fearful. We don't need to be frightened. We don't need to be scared. Yes, we sin. But when God brings it to our attention, we can repent and say, God, I'm sorry. I acknowledge it's sin, and I'm going to repent. I'm going to turn away from it, put my back to it, and I'm going to now walk towards you. And we know that he's faithful and just to forgive us. Why? Because first we put our trust in Yeshua the Messiah. And therefore, for me, Yom Kippur is not a scary, frightening day. It's not a solemn day. Yes, I do need to spend time in prayer repentance because I'm not perfect. But let me tell you, it is a day that there's great joy. I go to services. I confess my sins. I know that I've been reconciled to God. I know that I just need to confess it, turn my back to it, repent it, and move ahead straight with God. And I have reason to rejoice because I have assurance that my sins have been forgiven because Yeshua, the Messiah of Israel, died for my sins and I have put my trust in that. My question for you today is, do you have the assurance that your sins are forgiven? Do you know for sure your name is already written in the Lamb's Book of Life? There's no 12-month Book of Life you need to try to get your name in, but there is a Lamb's Book of Life that your name can be written in forever. If you trust in Messiah, your name will be there, and you can rejoice that you have atonement and that you'll live forever with God. I hope that's you. If it's not, right now, confess your sins, repent, put your trust in Messiah. Email me. It'll be my email address. will be there in the credits. Tell me you want to make that decision to trust in Messiah, and I'll pray with you and encourage you and begin rejoicing with you that your name is now in the book of life 
forever and ever. And so I pray it's there. And so if not, you write me so we can talk. Thanks so much for joining me. This has been Rabbi Ron in the house.